Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will take a look at function arguments and default arguments. So we will first understand what is arguments. In the previous video, we learned how to declare a function. Now in this lecture, we will understand what is arguments and how to pass arguments to the function. Now take attention on this line. The primary mechanism to pass information to a function called is function arguments. You can also call them parameters. Argument is just like a variables. It just used to pass values to the function. Arguments doesn't exist until the function is called. So let's take an example and understand how arguments work. So we will first create a simple function with two arguments. So I will say function and specify name. So I will specify demo here and pass two parameters. So I will specify a comma b. To separate arguments, we will use comma operator, right? And in the body of that function, I will specify a return keyword with addition of two variables divided by two. So this will give us average of these two numbers. And after that, I will call the function. So I will say demo and pass two values to this function. So I will say five comma 40, right? So when you execute this statement, you will get 22.5 average, right? Now in this function, A and B is formal arguments. You can also call them formal parameters. So when the function is called, the formal arguments receive values and become an actual arguments. So now let's understand this process step by step. In this example, formal arguments A and B receive values 5 and 40 and become actual arguments. Now you have 5 and 40 value in the function arguments A and B. Function arguments are exist only in the function. You cannot access the function argument outside of the function. So when the function has been called a and b become 5 and 40, then function will return the average of 5 and 40 to its caller. What if we just specify the variable except specifying the value? Like this. So I will declare a variable here. So I will say let a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 40. Now we will use this variable as argument. So I will say demo and in the parenthesis, I will specify a and b as a arguments. So what would be the result? The result would be same. You will get 22.5 on the console. Keep in mind when you create a function, the function name must be a valid identifier, right? So now here we pass two variables a and b when we call the function. A and B distinct variable from the arguments A and B in the function, even though they are having the same name. When JavaScript call this function, JavaScript won't pass the variable as a function arguments, except JavaScript will pass variable values to the function. It means in the function arguments, you have 5 and 40 in the function arguments variable. Now in ECMAScript 6, there is a new concept introduced, default values for arguments. Normally, when you did not specify default value to the variable, it returns undefined. For example, I will create a function here. So I will say function f and in the parenthesis, I will specify a single argument. So I will say x and return this x to its caller. So I will say return. I will use backtick to specify the string. I will use the interpolation to print the value of x variable. Right? Now I will just call this function. Now when you call this function, you will get undefined variable value because we did not specify any argument to the function when we call them. 
So here we have a new concept default values for our arguments. We will take the same example and just make some changes. In arguments, so I will say x is equal to and in the double quote I will specify a string. So I will say default here. So we specify x as a string with a default value, right? So as you can see, we just specify a default value to the function parameter. So when you execute this statement, you will get default on the console. If you just change this default value and specify 3, then you will get 3 on the console. Right? Now, as you can see, you can specify any primitive and object data type in the parameter. Right? This is very amazing way to specify default value to the variable. Isn't it? That's it. I hope you understand what is argument in functions. I have asked a question in the comment. Answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.